Okay, so I'm recording in cheese. I'm reinitializing uh, my YouTube uh, channel uh, and trying to start to make some content for that. Uh, I'm not sure what yet. So far I've been thinking about just uh, sort of reality, highlighting some things going on in my life. Currently I'm in Mexico for about a month. Uh, I'll probably post up some of my viewer reviews uh, from earlier in my uh, placement here. It's, placement's done, but I'm still here because the airlines are uh, not flying. So, uh, just initially, I'm going to uh, start with rehashing uh, prepper videos and my responses to them. So I follow a lot of prepping channels because I really like prepping. Uh, First off is uh, Demcad's channel. So we'll see if this keeps recording because I'm also testing out uh, Cheese and uh, some Linux video production software as I'm also spending my time in uh, quarantine or as they call it here in Mexico Kid and Casa uh, with, you know, spending some time programming, uh, learning C++ more because it's like learn it for Oh, a couple weeks, stop for a couple of years, learn it for a couple of weeks, stop for a couple of years. Uh, so I'm working on a uh, video game, long time, sort of D&D &D concept role playing game. Uh, we'll never get done, but hopefully I'll get some stuff actually uh, working properly on it. Back to the Demcad thing though. Um, if you're not familiar with Demcad, I suggest check out the channel. Um, so he just did a video on divorces spiking during uh, the COVID quarantine in the United States. Um, so he listed a bunch of reasons on why that is, is happening. Um, and it was referenced from an article on a New York divorce attorney. Uh, they mentioned 120 year downturn uh, in marriages uh, during the quarantine, which is a little bit stupid because if people can't go out to get married, obviously they're, they're going to postpone their marriage to a point that they can actually have a real wedding because most women uh, want to have an actual wedding, not just uh, them and basically eloping uh, style wedding. Um, but the domestic abuse thing was probably also a big thing. You also you need to take into consideration that with a lot of the cases of actual reported domestic abuse, there's going to be a lot of other cases that are not reported, and then the financial issues are just impressive. A lot of people, um, one of the big things about marriage is that there's a financial union going on. So if the finances and mortgage situations and bills aren't getting paid. People have arrangements and marriages to take care of certain activities uh, for husbands that are working men and stay-at-home wives. Uh, it's a dynamic of who's doing what. They're not bringing home the bread. It's going to create stress, but also in co-working relationships, again, if they're not paying their bills, uh, it's a, a tough situation. Uh, people might want to respond to the crisis in a specific way. And maybe there's not agreement in those relationships, um, but ultimately, uh, it's it's that th that's not what they agreed on. That wasn't the life they had planned. That's life we've all planned. Like, I would have never expected to be here in Mexico still in May um, after I finish my placement for a museum studies program. Nonetheless, I am choking, uh, so I'm going to end that there as my first commentary. And we'll see how long this run goes in me posting new videos because I'm not very good for keeping posting content.